going to get my nails done. And I know I said I was going to do a weekly vlog, but y'all, I really just been all over the place. So, um, I'm about to get my nails done right now. I was, y'all, I was trying to soak them off. And then my best friend just said, come get them done. So, baby, we can file them down. We could do whatever. But I need these nails done because, y'all, I, I am not about to play with my nails, okay? I got shit to fucking do. So, yeah. So, all right, y'all. Stay tuned for that until... <laughs> I'm fucking Now we get you, you enjoy this. Wait, make sure I like you loud. No, I'm gonna be good. Turn your head, ma'am. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> Did you want some red crab? Uh, you ordered it, sir? And I'm gonna order it. Oh, yeah, you can eat some. What kind of y'all getting? I want to know. Yeah, because I'm getting used to this phone. Yes, you do. Tell them what they nails gonna come for me. Okay, period. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna put a little. Um, I'm gonna put your little link, a little thing on there. Okay, that's on period. My best friend do my nails, y'all. She gave me together. Okay, period. Mm -hmm. 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 Tell them how long it's taking. <laughs> Cause you want to yeah, be extra. Yeah, what time did I get? Cause you want to be extra. It was around six. Really? Yes. Every time is it now? Nine o'clock. Let me take a time because she's very careful. No, cause she's very extra. She and I got my nails a little extra short extra this time. Long. She ain't let me get them super long. They is long, but they ain't super long. Yeah, but yeah, I got, yeah. I like this limb. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all when we done. Cause it's still cute. You know, I told her how to do it like this. No. I told her to do it this way. Oh, my God. Inspo from me. I told her what she know. Period. I'll let you win. Okay. I'll let you win. Stop making fun. What's up, y'all? Okay, so today we're going to be doing a eyebrow tutorial. Okay? So I'm going to try to see because my eyebrows are not done. I haven't got them done probably in like a couple months. Like normally my esthetician uh, fix my eyebrows up, but I haven't had her do them. Like my last appointment, I didn't have her do them because I got a chemical peel and basically um, I'm there I'm at. So I'm about to show y'all a little eyebrow tutorial, even though most of y'all should be knowing how to do your eyebrows right now. I mean, it's 2020, baby. Y'all gotta be doing your eyebrows. Y'all gotta be getting cute about here. Because. So first, I'm gonna show y'all what y'all gotta use. So, I use the Anastasia, uh, Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony. And you can see that. Can you see it? Mm, can you? Okay, whatever. It's in Ebony, okay? Let me see if it's the right one. No, nope, this ain't the right one. Okay, this the right one, but it's still the same color I used ebony. Get you um, get you a brow pencil brush, whatever you want to call it. It should have a spoolie at this end, and it should have the slant. I know mine got makeup on it, but this is what I'm saying, the slant. Okay. And then I normally use like a concealer that's close to my skin color. So I use Chestnut um, by Born This Way. Okay, that's what I use for that. And then basically on the top of my eyebrows, I always use um, a foundation. So, I done got darker this summer, y'all. So, 440 and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, okay, Hydrating Longwear Foundation has been my shade because I done got a little dark, okay. But I love it, so don't get me wrong, okay. So, basically, hold on, y'all. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is y'all okay so i don't like my eyebrows super dark i don't like them thin i don't like them super dark and um i don't like 
you know what I'm talking about? When some people eyebrows at the beginning just be looking crazy. I don't like that. So, I ain't going to look here and do them. But, so I'm going to look here and do them. And my mirror here. Okay, so basically what I do is brush my eyebrows out. I'm going to try to move my hair out the way. I ain't do it today. So, if y'all can see my lace, y'all too close. No, I'm saying. Okay, but yeah, so. I Okay. Okay. So I brush them, okay? I take my big brow and I will just dip a little, y'all. Oh. It's I hear my dog getting in trouble by my dad. Don't got no respect for me filming my video. But I didn't tell him I was filming it, so. Okay, so yeah, so basically, I try to like brush the begin. This about to irritate me for real. Bruh. Mm. Maybe it's. Okay. Okay. So I try to brush up the beginning. The, I mean, not the beginning. Yeah, I try to brush the beginning of my brow. And I really focus only on the back of my eyebrow, okay? So. I will literally, this is what I do. I'm not saying you got to do it like this. I'm not saying everybody who do it like this is right. I'm not saying it's wrong. This is my way. This is how I do my eyebrows. And like I said, they are not tamed at all right now. I haven't got them done in a while. So this is how I do my eyebrows, period. Okay, so I basically will just draw like a little thin line under the brow, okay? Make sure... I get it to the end of my eyebrow, okay? If I need a little more, if you need a little more, you can go back in for a little bit of more. And then I basically trace the just the top, but I start like in the middle of my eyebrow, okay? And then I will connect it at the bottom like that, okay? So I keep doing that until I feel like Basically, I got my outline of my eyebrow. And then that little line kind of that I made in the front, I'm going to blend that in. But right now, we're going to still work on the back a little bit because we got to get these eyebrows together. Okay? So, yeah, basically just... And it might be easier for me. It might be harder for some people because... I ain't gonna lie, my eyebrow kind of has already a natural shape to it. So that's basically how I work. I just follow my natural shape. I don't have to build an eyebrow on. I don't have to take an eyebrow off. You know what I'm saying? I just go with my natural outline of my eyebrow. So I'm about to do the other side. Okay, y'all. So not only did the mount. Um, phone died because I'm still filming on my phone like an idiot instead of using my camera. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't mind me. So, I did this eyebrow off camera as y'all can see because like I said, I'm actually died up here. And I, I couldn't, couldn't show y'all. But basically, same, um, same technique under top start in the middle and like i see i always brush the front out because i like an ombre eyebrow i don't like no sharp cut permanent marker thick nasty eyebrow okay that's just that you guys got that for me yeah my daughter back here keep laughing that must be funny okay oh okay now, this is the very important part, okay? We're not going to, don't forget this. If this, if you don't remember this for this video, remember this, okay? So, y'all, this brush I got from Sephora when they was doing, like, a little Christmas thing, I think, last year. Yep, it was last year. So, we don't have a number on it or nothing, but we ain't even worried about that. What we worried about is how fine and flat this brush is, Okay? 
So I take the chestnut concealer because that's my shade that I said that I thought was closest kind of to my skin, but it still give me like a medium highlight under because we ain't doing no eyebrows like we was doing a couple years ago. We don't want our eyebrows white underneath. We don't want them looking crazy underneath. We basically want our eyebrows to basically blend, okay? So, as y'all can see on my hand, I'm taking a little bit of the brush at the tip, okay? So, I'm going to get as close as I can to that line under my eyebrow all the way. Those little bitty hairs that y'all see out of line, they're going to be gone because I'm literally going to use this brush and I'm going to go so fine and so close to my hair that you won't see that. That's how I get like a nice sharp eyebrow even when my eyebrows are not done. So, just like this, y'all. So, I'm going to start and I'm going to go across. And when I first do it, I do it like this. Okay. And then, now that it's like that, I will take it and basically push it around. Not push it around. Y'all see what I'm doing. Okay. And even like those little hairs still, I will go back. And do that again okay so y'all see y'all see that okay now we gonna take another brush and this is the deluxe crease brush by real techniques real techniques is a real technique 300 so i'm gonna take this brush and i'm gonna just blend that out like and you can get these brushes at walmart you can get them at Ulta, one place I haven't seen them at before. Okay. So, boom. And you're going to just blend out those edges so that it gives you a nice look. And if you see, like, I feel like right here I kind of cut mine a little thin right there. So, I will go back. I will go back over it and try to fix that because, yeah, okay. And then I'll take another brush, which I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna take the Morphe M24, M124, MI24. M124. I think it's M124. I don't know how this got glue at the end of it. But whatever. But this is the brush. And once again, it's like another fine brush. But this is the brush I use for the top of my eyebrow. And I take some of the foundation. Just a little dab. You don't need much. I literally just put that much. And basically... Got the wrong under pressure. Basically, what I'll do is I'll dip it up in there, as y'all can see. This is my foundation shade. And basically, like I did the bottom, I'm going to do the top. So basically, I'm going to cut it clean across. And I'm not, once I put this brush down, I'm not going to pick it up. So, and I start like towards the middle. So. Get it as close as you can. And just bring the eyebrow around, okay? As close and bring the eyebrow around. Boom. Okay. And then I'm going to take that Real Technique 300 brush. And I'm going to blend... Blend, 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 blend out. And like I said, sometimes, like, I feel like, I didn't really blend all the way out, but I feel like this eyebrow is kind of thin to me. So, 
if I feel like it's too thin, because I don't like the eyebrows. I kind of like my natural shape. If I feel like it's too thin, then I'll mm -hmm. go back in, go back in, I'll go back in and um fix the eyebrow. So like I just put a little more the brow. And I'm about to just go back in and head towards the middle and basically fix that up. Like make it just a little, cause it's not that I like my eyebrows thick, but I like them to kind of look full like my normal eyebrow do. So, and then like the excess makeup that was right there, I just blend that out like that, okay? Y'all see that brow? Okay, you all see it? That's the brow. Now I'm gonna finish the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did the other side off camera and I feel like they're symmetrical and I brushed out the ends because I like it to be kind of ombre if that's what you wanna call it, whatever y'all wanna call it. And boom. Put on some lashes, put on some lip liner and some lip gloss. This is my fave, the Nars um, strips. Or I'll use NYX um, Madeline, Madeline. i use this, or I will the butter gloss, or I will use NYX Fortune Cookie. This is probably my second fave. And normally, um, I top it with some gloss, but I always do this, and I always have on some lashes. And I'm a 25 mm type of chick, so my lashes be real dramatic because I like them like that. And y'all stay tuned because I'm also gonna be doing a makeup tutorial for y'all. So stay tuned. We'll be back.